Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a blend space in Unreal Engine. So this is a blend space that I set up already for the brown bear, for my brown bear. And if you look um, at one, you know, as you push the indicator up, you see he runs and then he goes into a walk and then into idle. And he'll also go turning right and turning left. And you can use this in your game or in your code to help him move around. So let's look at how to create this. So let's lower this. We have our animation folder for the brown bear. And here is the blend space that I made. But let's create a new one. So we go to animation, then blend space. You're going to pick the skeleton you're going to use and then rename it. So, um, so let's just call this bear underscore. And then we can double click on it and we get this graph that has a horizontal and a vertical plane. If you look on the left, you have the horizontal and vertical axis here. Now, the top one we want to make, um, usually you would want it to uh, label it direction or something like that. And the, lo the vertical one you want uh, most likely speed. And uh, the minimum axis value we want to be negative 180. And then the maximum 180. So you'll see it spread out. There's negative 180 and then 180 here. And on the vertical, we have 100. Now this could be whatever your the speed of your character is going to be. I'm going to set this right now to like 650, something like that. Okay, now we don't have any animation in here yet. Though. so and you can just drag and drop your animation in so I'm going to grab the run animation and it's going to be at the very top and then I'm going to grab the walking animation probably going to be somewhere down here maybe in the middle or near the bottom and they have on this graph there are different points that you could snap this to you can turn off the snapping right here on the side by unchecking this. So you could have speeds that are in between that you want to use. Uh, so you might want to turn that snapping off. And if you look over here, it says number of grid divisions. And it's four. So if you change this, you could alter uh, how many divisions there are in this graph and snap your animation to that or again you can turn off snapping and just type in whatever the value you want it to be okay I'm gonna set this back to four and then if uh, my walking I probably want to uncheck this and I'm gonna set this to about 105 it's about the speed of the animation uh, that I'm using so we have um, a run, a walk, now we need an idle. So here's my idle animation. So drop that in. And now, of course, we have turning or the direction. So minus 180 and 180. Uh, I'm not going to set it quite to 180. I'm going to set it to 90, kind of in, in the middle. You don't have to do this. You can set it to 180. It depends on your animation for it, really. So I just dropped in the right and left. So if we turn, if we go to the left side, he's turning left. Go to the right side, he's turning right. So just like that, run to walk to idle to turn and to turn. So I think uh, that's about all there is. But just remember that you have all of these options in the side, so you can change any or all of these parameters. Up here at the top, there are there is an interpolation time, or um, you might think of it as a blend time. For uh, speed, uh, you can uh, be somewhat high. It could be as high as 1. 
Uh, and that's just how the animations all blend into each other. So they don't snap into the animation that you're using. Okay, but, you know, I would set this, you know, anywhere from 0.5 to 1. Something like that. Um, at the top direction, I've been noticing that uh, if you go too far with this, you can have anomalies that you don't want. So I usually go somewhere around 0.3 for this. This is can also be controlled in your um, in your animation blueprint, so or at least some aspects of it. But that's a quick look at blend spaces in. Unreal Engine. Have a good one, everyone.